I'm a bad mother because the good die young. Everybody's selling dreams. I'm too cheap to buy one. This is Mark Bell from Supertraining.tv, Supertraining Gym, the strongest gym in the West, answering more questions today for the Power Project brought to you by HowMuchYouBench.net and the only strength magazine in the world, the Power Magazine. Dot com And yes, I know I look stupid with this combination. Too many accessories going on. I don't know how to do it. It's cold out and I can't see. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to invent some goggles that are like in a hat somehow. Or maybe I should be wearing one of those beer hats or I don't know. Anyway, we have a question today from the Colossus, the gigantic, the enormous Terry Hollins, who is a professional strongman competitor and he's a guy who I've seen on TV on TV deadlift 800 pounds for like six or seven reps or something and he asked me a question now why in the hell would he ask me a question about deadlifting when he clearly already knows what the hell he's doing because power project army there's always something that you can learn from everybody Terry Holland can even learn something from little old me and vice versa. I can learn stuff from him, even if he was to show me strongman movements that I wouldn't really necessarily consider doing uh, for powerlifting. I could still implement some of the things that he says and put them into powerlifting. Or I can utilize some of the movements that he teaches or someone like Derek Poundstone teaches or whoever the strongman, insert favorite strongman person there. Um, strongman and powerlifting uh, oftentimes go hand in hand. And that's why um, many strongman athletes uh, do a lot, do a huge amount of their training inside the gym. Actually, many of them do two or three days in the gym and only one day of actual strongman training because strongman training is really, really hard. I had a bunch of strongman questions lately and I'm not really sure why. I'm not a strongman competitor. It's not my area of expertise, uh, but I do rub elbows with some guys here and there. And maybe Mr. Terry Holland can uh, answer some questions here on the Power Project. Maybe I can email them over to you or something like that. Anyway, Terry Holland, one more thing. I'd love to have you in my magazine at some point, so we'll have to take care of that. I will be at the Arnold this year, so come by and stop and uh, come by and check out my booth. Pick up a couple magazines. I'll hook you up with some free slingshots and wrist wraps because you are one bad dude. Okay, Terry Holland's question is, he saw me doing some deadlifts. Um against some bands and some chains and it was a speed deadlift session i was utilizing a kk constantine constantinoff like principle where i add about 20 pounds per set um or 20 pounds per rep i'm sorry uh doing about three reps in a row two or three reps in a row but terry's terry's question was more about just speed pulls in general um and he wants to know why am i doing speed pulls in powerlifting gear the answer is very simple I am a cheater. That's that's it. I'm a cheating son of a bitch. No, really, all it is, Terry, is just trying to um, get the feel for my powerlifting gear. I've been working on a lot of raw power, raw lifting lately, especially raw deadlifting. My raw sumo deadlifting is uh, awful, and it's something I'm trying to bring up. And so, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to. Um, feel better raw and then when I get in my gear I'm hoping that things feel more explosive more powerful and so on but you can't be out of your powerlifting gear for too long uh, as you know with your strongman training if you know you can build up all the strength in the world that you want inside the gym but if you uh, miss out on too many uh, event, too many event training sessions, you are really going to be screwed, especially if a contest is coming up. And while that may work for some people for a little while, it certainly will not work or be effective for a very long period of time. So powerlifters out there, anybody who's wearing powerlifting gear, it is very important for you to listen to what I'm about to say. And this goes for my own team. This goes for everybody out there. If you're not a geared powerlifter, it doesn't necessarily apply to you, but it does in some ways. If you are a geared powerlifter, never get too far away from any one thing. If you're not a geared powerlifter, don't get too far away from any one thing, especially when it comes to the actual movement that you're about to perform in a contest. So if you're a raw lifter 
and you need to get depth, work on getting depth in training. Work on doing a regular squat. Work on doing a regular deadlift. Work on doing a regular bench press. A regular bench press with a pause and a rack command and a start command or whatever the commands are that are in your federation. If you're a geared power, if the same thing is true, practice the way that you play the game. And it will pay huge dividends. You don't always have to do it. Some people need to do it more frequently than others. Those of you that are box squatting and um, those of you who are using uh, various approaches to squatting, reverse band and, uh, you know, uh, squatting uh, into chains and stuff, all very, very effective ways of overloading the body, all very effective ways of training, all very effective ways of uh, working out clearly. A lot of people have used that type of method for a long time, but... Don't get too far away from any one thing. Don't get too far away from your raw lifting if you're a geared lifter. Um, don't get too far away from your geared lifting. You have to have every... It, it's it's kind of crazy because there's only so many hours in the day to train, right? But you still can't... Like, I have some guys in my gym sometimes say, Oh man, it would be great to shirt up today. I haven't been in my shirt for like three months. What in the hell are you doing? You haven't been in your shirt. I got a lot of chalk on my hands. That's why they're white. But, uh, you know, you should not be out of your gear for that long a period of time. There are tra there are training sessions you want to go through. You want to build. You want to work on some stuff. And you want to build raw strength. But I'll tell you what. When you get back into that gear, the longer you're out of it, the worse it is going to feel. Not the better. So, Terry Holland, just to answer your question, um, just to reiterate what I said earlier, it's just trying to get a feel for what we're doing, just trying to um, you know get the timing down of the lift and to really learn and ingrain everything into this fat dome. Uh, as soon as I was done with that deadlifting session, as soon as I saw the video, as soon as I sat down and thought about it a little bit more, uh, I realized I could have done a lot more betterist if I would have done X, Y, and Z. So... That's the important thing is you kind of sit back and re-examine on the things you could have done a little bit better. And the next time I get into that situation, get into that gear, I can kind of reevaluate and perform better. One thing I noticed was I didn't do enough sets with my straps up. Now, when we go and compete, we're wearing a belt. You're allowed to wear a belt. We're allowed to wear a suit. We're allowed to have the straps up. So might as well take advantage of all those different things and get a feel for it. In your events, Terry Holland, when you do your strongman stuff, if you're allowed to wear a suit, if you're allowed to wear this, if you're allowed to wear that, whatever you wear that you're comfortable with, I would advise you, you probably already do this because you are a cream of the crop, strongman competitor, I would advise you throw all that shit on and get used to how everything feels. But, like I said earlier, you probably already know that. If you can help with the power project, that would be awesome. I'll fire some questions your way. Maybe you can video yourself talking about it, or maybe when I see you out there at the Arnold, um, I can video you and uh, ask you a couple of questions. Other than that, we got to get you in the magazine, my man. You're a mutant, and... Uh, I just want to tell everybody out there for the Power Project Army, we are getting close to 8,000 subscribers, and I just really appreciate all the questions that are coming in. Uh, having high-level lifters and high-level uh, people ask me questions is uh, beyond uh, flattering, and, and it's part of the reason why I'm doing all this. It's to help out everybody, and it's to spread the word and get people talking about these different topics so that we can all benefit, we can all get better, and everybody can get stronger, and we can make the world a better place to lift. And that is it from supertraining.tv.